ICT as a domain is evolving rapidly. Networks have become an integral part of our daily lives. Nowadays, network services are essential, whether that be in school libraries, cafes, or hotel rooms. As such, it has never been so important to ensure network security. How do we ensure network security? When external users access the network, security policies are usually deployed at the egress. For example, a firewall is deployed in off-path mode to block invalid data and protect network security. When internal users access the network, the Network Access Control, known as NAC, solution is usually adopted to ensure intranet access security. In this solution, an authentication server is deployed on the intranet to make sure only those authorized are granted access. What is portal authentication? Portal authentication is one of the most commonly used NAC authentication modes. The others are MAC address authentication and 802.1x authentication. Regarding portal authentication, the portal server needs to be deployed on the network, in addition to the authentication server. In this way, when a user accesses the network, the user is redirected to the portal authentication page and enters their username and password for authentication. What are the advantages of portal authentication? Users are authenticated on the web page, without the need to install any additional client software on user terminals. Portal authentication pages can be customized, including advertisements to be pushed and enterprise promotion resources. A wide range of authentication modes are supported, including username and password authentication, one-click authentication, and passcode authentication. Does Huawei eKit SME Network Center support portal authentication? In addition to remote configuration, Huawei eKit SME Network Center enables one-stop management from the server side to the device side based on built-in authentication components. This simplifies the deployment architecture of the portal authentication solution. What are the menus of the authentication component of Huawei eKit SME Network Center? Huawei eKit SME Network Center has five menus. The overview page provides the following functions. Quick access to the wireless authentication configuration page. Quick access to the user and guest management page. Quick access to the page customization page. Insight into the number of online users and user login and logout logs. The user and guest management page contains two tabs, user and guest tabs. On the user tab, you can create user groups, manage user accounts by group, and create accounts of the username and password type. On the guest tab, you can create one or more passcode accounts at a time. On the page customization page, the system provides default portal authentication pages of four built-in authentication modes. On this page, you can also customize the portal page. On the online user management page, you can view online users and force users to go offline. On the login and logout logs page, you can view user login and logout records. What portal authentication modes does Huawei eKit SME Network Center support? Currently, Huawei eKit SME Network Center supports portal authentication for wireless terminals, which can be enabled during Wi-Fi configuration. Four authentication modes are available. The first is username and password authentication. This mode requires usernames and passwords to be added on the authentication server, and is applicable to user groups with fixed users. The second is passcode authentication. This mode requires passcodes to be added on the authentication server, and is ideal for guest access scenarios where a passcode is required. The third is one-click authentication. In this mode, a user registers an account during authentication, and the information is automatically added to the authentication server. This mode is simple and ideal for guest access scenarios where fast authentication is required. The fourth is anonymous authentication. In this mode, users access the network without using any accounts. Instead, the authentication server automatically displays the user login accounts as anonymous accounts. This mode is applicable to open networks on which the network access service is provided for users free of charge. 
How do we configure portal authentication on the Huawei eKit SME Network Center? Here, username and password authentication for wireless terminals is used as an example, which involves three steps. Step 1 is to add a user account on Huawei eKit SME Network Center. First, click the desired project to access the project details page. Then, choose authentication is greater than user and guest management. Next, click the user tab and follow the steps to create a user group. Finally, select the created user group and enter the information required to add a user account. Step 2 is to customize the portal page on Huawei eKit SME Network Center if you do not want to use the default portal page. First, click Page Customization. Then, click the plus sign, plus, to create a portal page template. By default, default username and password authentication page is used. Next, click OK. The template details page is displayed for you to edit as needed. On the template details page, change the theme and select the scenario. You can also click the background image component and upload the background image, or click other components to modify text. After that, click Save in the lower right corner. Finally, click Save in the upper right corner to save the customized template. Step 3 is to configure a wireless authentication point. First, choose Configuration is greater than Wi-Fi management. Then, click Create to create a Wi-Fi network. Next, toggle on Authentication, select the page to be pushed, toggle on Portal Authentication Exemption, and select the Bypass Policy. Finally, click OK. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.